their YouTube. So today, you might be wondering, what could this brown piece of shit probably have that is so entertaining that she decides to make a video about it? Well, trust me, it's gonna be worth it. So, today, <laughs> I'm gonna share a story. One of the most embarrassing things to ever happen to me in my entire life. This involved my parents, me, that's pretty much it. <sighs> I don't even know where to begin. This is way too embarrassing, off the charts, even for me. And not a lot of embarrassing things happen to my life. I don't have a lot of drama in my life. All my high school friends are in university right now and they still have high school drama. I don't. I'm drama free. This is gonna be one <laughs> interesting event which I can share with the internet because it is entertaining enough. Honestly, 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 wait, this has happened to me like more than twice. <laughs> now, without further ado, let's just get into the story. I don't wanna keep you waiting for long, but if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, comment, all of that. I'm just gonna push my lashes up because I can feel myself crying. Before I tell you the story about how I rushed into the ER for chest pain, let me give you a little bit of backstory so you can understand why these chest pains were a big deal to me. Because usually people go like, oh yeah, chest pains, it could be gas, it could be like lung cancer or something. I'm just gonna have to give you a little backstory. Now, you're probably thinking, Maria, it is really insensitive to laugh about heart attack. It's not funny. It does not work. A video. Girl. You will see exactly why I'm laughing while filming this video. Anyways, the backstory. This happened in like 2015. I'm not really sure, I don't remember. My grandfather had died. This was like in Jan, Feb, I think. I think it was probably like 16. So that's, that should be 2015. My grandfather died at like 70 or 73 or 72 or something, I don't remember. He was actually an astrologer who predicted that he would die at like 75, but then he died at 73. Oops. <laughs> While my grandfather was on his deathbed, he died of a heart attack, which means it was all of a sudden. Apparently, before my grandfather died, he started experiencing chest pains Ooh, on the left side of his chest. If you Google it, the first thing that's gonna show up is signs of heart attack. Obviously, yeah, girl, Google it. Okay, yeah, so I knew this. I knew that my grandfather, like before he died, he had these chest pains on the side. I knew this like two months before I started experiencing my chest pains. <laughs> Two months later, several months later, two months after my grandfather died, I'm sitting there, you know, chilling on my bed, watching Netflix, life's all good, until I started experiencing chest pains on the left side of my chest. So I was like, I was near the mirror, y'all. I started getting these chest pains and I was laying on the bed like this and I was just like, wait, what is that? Is that supposed to happen? And then I try to like breathe in and out to see if I can like breathe because I just figured that, you know, if you were going to have a heart attack, you probably cannot breathe. So yeah, I was just sitting on the bed like this and I was just like, wait, something's not right, something's wrong. And then I go to the mirror and this is what happened. Oh my God. And then I like pull up my top to see if there was something wrong, if I can like see through my skin. You get what happened. So I was in front of the mirror, freaking out. It's like, God, I can't believe this is happening. Wait, what if this is a heart attack? And then obviously, your girl decides to go to Google. Okay, signs, signs of heart attack. If you're experiencing these signs, call an emergency and rush to the emergency. Your immediate little piece of shit did exactly that. I'm kidding, I did not call the ambulance. So after I was like in front of the mirror and like acting all dramatic, like, I went to my mom who was in the shower. So I go outside the door at the bathroom and I go like, Amma, I'm, I, ha I have like chest pain on the left side of my chest. And then obviously she freaks out because she also knows that two months ago, my grandfather just died of the same kind of chest pain. So we all have that in our mind. So when something similar to that happens to someone in our family, we obviously freak out because we're just like, fuck, what if she's having a heart attack? She just asked me in the shower, like, what? Are you sure? I can like, I can hear her like freak out in the shower because she's just like, oh my God, what? Are you okay? Okay, wait, just wait. I'm almost done showering. I'm coming. And she has soap all over her body. Like she was telling me she's, she hasn't like washed off the soap of her body and stuff. Okay, fine, cool. I'll wait, just say I might not be alive when you come out of the shower. <laughs> so I was just there waiting for my mom to get out of the shower. And then she finally does get out of the shower. There's a lot of soap everywhere. She was just in a hurry. She needed to get out of the shower because her daughter was probably having a heart attack. 
She comes out of the shower and then she calls my dad. And then she's like, oh, Ram's experiencing like chest pains. Everyone's freaking out at this point. Me, my mom, my dad, probably even my brother. I don't know what he was doing. He doesn't give a shit. My mom like quickly puts on her clothes and I'm still like, I'm still freaking out. Like freaking out. The worst part of all of this. One of the worst parts. While I was waiting for my mom to get ready so we can like rush to the emergency, I was still standing in front of the mirror. I literally think to myself, you are gonna be so surprised. <sighs> I was just like, oh my god, I was supposed to go shopping last week. I can't even do that now because I'm having a heart attack and I'm probably gonna die. <laughs> can you believe that in the middle of a potential heart attack, I was thinking about how I had to go shopping last week. <laughs> Woo! Back then, I was really excited to go shopping. Oh my god, no, I'm not gonna get to go shopping. So I go to the closest clinic near me, and that's Aster. It's a clinic, mind you, it's not a hospital, so it's small. So I go to Aster, and then, guess what? I go to the um, receptionist and I'm like, okay, uh, I need to go to the ER, I'm ER, I'm experiencing chest pains. They got me into like the treatment room because again, it's a clinic, it's not a hospital, and... <sighs> So I'm laying there on the hospital bed when there are so many people who could probably be having like an actual heart attack. But I'm there taking up the entire treatment room for myself because I'm experiencing chest pains. You will see why this is funny. So I'm there on the hospital bed and my mom is like holding my hand. She's really worried. I'm really worried. Everyone's really, really worried. She calls my dad. My dad comes to ask her. God, my dad has to be the highlight of the story. I cannot believe my dad. <laughs> He comes in and literally, he doesn't say anything. He just sits there and then he, he just looks at me. And I'm just there like staring at the ceiling, thinking of all the things I could have done before dying. And then my dad, he goes like, did you know that your grandfather died the same way? <sighs> yes, yes, dad, I know. I know that he died the same way. So does my mom. Everyone knows, which is exactly why everyone is freaking out about my chest pain. So that's my dad, but anyway. So I'm sitting on the hospital bed. My parents have probably been convinced that I'm gonna die very soon. The weird part is that I wasn't really scared of dying. I was just like, okay, fine, you know what? This is great. I was trying to make myself feel better. <laughs> I was telling myself, it's fine, Mariam. You're gonna see what happens after death before any of your friends. <laughs> that's what mattered. So I'm just like, yeah, you're just gonna, you're gonna experience all of this before anyone else and you're gonna know the secrets of the earth before anyone else. You know, all those mysterious secrets. Is gravity real? Is time real? I really thought I was gonna have all the answers in the world after I die. And I was prepared. I was like, I was, I mean, I'm, obviously I was like scared. I was scared to death. But at the same time, I was just trying to calm myself down. I was like, listen, if it happens, it's okay. You're gonna be fine. It's not as bad as you think. You're probably just gonna, you know, shut off. And then nothing's just, nothing's gonna happen after that. I don't know. That's just what I like to think. So I, I lay there preparing myself for my death and they bring me an ECG machine and I was like, oh my god, this is getting so real right now, like so real. And they're gonna like put all that thing on my, those sticky things on my chest and you know, they're probably gonna find out that there's something wrong with my heart and my entire life. If, if I don't die, I'm probably gonna have like a heart disease or something and then I'm gonna have to be bedroom for my entire life and I'm not gonna be able to do any of the things I wanted. <sighs> Yeah, so I was breaking down on the inside, but I tried, I was I was keeping cool on the outside because you know I have I have a serious problem of laughing in the worst situation. Also not producing the right kind of reaction in certain situations. If there was like a building exploding in front of me right now, I would just be like But on the inside I'm just like So um yeah, girl. This is the plot twist, guys. We have reached the plot twist of the story. So I'm laying there, my dad's sitting right next to the bed. My mom's, you know, hovering over me, holding my hand. I'm waiting for the ECG machine to come in. And then I, yeah, girl, are you ready for the bomb? Are you ready for the bomb? The plot twist. The reason why we are all here watching this video. I, yeah, girl, Mariam George, welcome back to my channel, decided to fart. Now you might be thinking, oh Mariam, it's fine, everyone farts, it's no big deal. Like, yeah, I know, I know, farts are no big deal, everyone farts. But the reason this was a big deal is because right after I farted, my chest pains just stopped. I just stopped having chest pains. I felt like Jesus rising up from the dead. That's how much better I felt. 
So then I look at my mom and I'm just like, I just farted and then she's like, okay, good, keep farting. And I'm just like, okay, fine. And then I keep farting. I let one out, I let two out, I let three out. I probably let like a huge ass sound bomb out as well. But I just kept farting and farting and <laughs> farting. Suddenly, out of nowhere, all of the pain stopped. And I literally thought to myself, like, oh my God, I think I just experienced the initial stages of a heart attack. God just wanted me to have like a little taste of it. I don't know. I just thought to myself, okay, I'm just I'm gonna be fine. Oh. <sighs> Then I tell my mom, I feel much better now. And then she's just like, was it gas? And I was like, was it? Was it? <sighs> so then I think to myself, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I just embarrassed myself. I can't believe that I just rushed myself to the emergency because of gas problems. And I literally thought I was having a heart attack. I created all that drama because of chest pains due to gas. I was having like a lot of gas. I was bloated. I'm such a disgrace. It's insane. Then I, then we just like, we go back home. My mom obviously had to tell them like, oh, I think she's fine now. It was just like gas issues. You don't need the ECG machine. Like yeah, just cancel her coffin. She's like back alive now. You can stop digging her grave now. She's alive. Oof, how embarrassing I am to myself, to the hospital, to my family. Am I a disgrace or am I a disgrace? Anyways, that is the story that I was hyping up so much. By the way, this is not the first time it happened. A similar event happened a month or two ago. I, I thought I was having kidney stones instead of a heart attack. If you want to know that story, just let me know. Anyways. If you want more story times, do let me know down in the comment section. If you like this video, if you liked my embarrassing story, please give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to put my Instagram over here, over here. Subscribe. I can't believe I just did that to myself. Thank you for watching. Thank you for spending so much of your time trying to listen to my stupid story. It is kind of funny. It is kind of funny. You got it. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Follow my Instagram and my Snapchat. Bye.